What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today we're going to be talking about the new and improved Siri. Now as you can see, when I activate it by holding down the home button here, Siri UI fades in and takes over the entire screen with that transparency effect just like the notification center. Now down here at the bottom you can see that it's using this waveform to actually pick up a visual of my voice. Okay. Okay, so she says okay. So, now, if we tap the question mark down here in the bottom left-hand corner, which actually replaced the information icon, you'll see all sorts of things that you can ask Siri. So if we tap on that, you can see that you have a phone to call Brian, you can FaceTime Lisa, launch photos, tell Susan I'll be right there, use it for calendar, sports, maps, Twitter, Facebook, restaurants, movies, I mean there's a whole lot of different things you can use this for. Now instead of using Google for the web searches it uses Bing and the results are displayed within Siri's UI instead of launching Safari. So if I go ahead and do a search here, when is the release date of the new MacBook Pro? Um, let me think. My web search turned this up. So you can see here the actual search is integrated into Siri. So it looks really nice and it's not having to go into a different application by launching Safari or anything like that. Now if you scroll down here you can see all of the searches that it did as well as some pictures that you can tap on and it also has a section down here where it says did you mean. So if you actually mispronounced it or she misunderstood you then you can just tap on one of these and it's going to search for that instead. Now if you continue scrolling down here, there's other source right here where you can actually see Twitter. So you can actually search a query through Twitter. And all you have to do is tap on it to get your results. Now another thing that you can do with Twitter, you can actually see results from a specific user. So let's just say we wanted to search Twitter for what Eminem was saying. So let's just say, what is Eminem saying? Searching on Twitter. I found some tweets. So here you can see that there's actually the 10 most recent tweets from Eminem. So you can scroll through here and read those and you can use this for any Twitter name that Siri is able to understand. Now if you really want to use Google search all you have to do is simply say search Google for and then whatever you're searching for and it's going to use Google as a search engine. But if you do that it will launch Safari to bring up results. Also Siri has integrated Wikipedia so if I say something like Tell me about Niagara Falls. Here is what I found. So you can see that it's actually still integrated within Siri and that's straight from Wikipedia. Now you can also enable and disable system toggles just by saying things like turn on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is already on. And you can turn them off just by doing the same thing. You can even raise up or turn down your brightness. Raise up the brightness. It's a little brighter now. So you can see that it got a little bit brighter. Also Siri has some new languages here. If we go into the settings, go into general and Siri, you can see if you tap on language, you have a ton of different languages. You have some male and female uh, languages here. You have different types of English languages. So that's something to tinker with and see what you like the best. So in my opinion, Siri has definitely taken a step in the right direction. So let me know what you guys think about Siri in the comments section below. And until next time, guys, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.